Hello and welcome to this new class in which we are going to see some necessary adjustments when working with Macs with M1 processors to be able to access our appliances. In this case, I will be doing the demonstration with Microtik computers and with Windows Server computers. But this applies to any course or any type of appliance that they are using. In the previous video, we saw how to create our entire work environment how to install Bing War, and how to download the GC3 virtual machine compatible with MUNO processors. And now we are going to see how to access our appliances, depending on the course they are in. It will be a project or another that they have imported, but it does not matter. This video applies to everyone. How can you see if I here try to start these machines? Do I get an error? It tells me that Kevin Acceleration cannot videos. And it does not suggest, in fact, it gives us the solution itself. It tells us to add in the GC3 configuration file. This line enable Kim false. If we go to our virtual machine, we see that he already says good. Support available false. So the only thing we need to add is exactly that line that indicated to us. We make enter in this window to be able to access the G's three configuration menu and we are going to go here to this line that says configure we press enter and we have the text editor nano very important don't touch any of this we're going to be adding our own lines let's put the word in square brackets cam one that is burned and then here we put what the GPS3 enable script under Kevin tells us. Same false. Be careful to respect the upper and lower case. False goes with the capital F. Well, let's check. Well, here it tells us with a small F. Just in case, I know that it works with a capital F, and I leave it that way. So once we have the enable Kevin false with control X. We are going to save these changes down there. It tells us save buffer. We press enter. Oh, sorry. We say yes with the YY now. Yes, here we press enter. And ready. Once we finish this change, we go to the option at the bottom of everything where it says reboot. Meanwhile, the GNS3 restarts. I am going to close the GT3 client, and I'm going to wait for the server to start to reopen it. Okay, the server is up now, so I'm going to turn on the GPS3 client. I'm going to select this little project. And now we do. Click play should be able to start all virtual machines. Notice that the error no longer came out. And all the links are in green with which the computers are starting correctly. The next thing I want to show you is the following. Depending on what type of console you are using, in my case, for the command console on Mac, I use ITAM2 or Internet2. If you do not adjust it in GPS3, when you access a console, you will see strange things. So this is done in the following way. First, I show you how it looks for me. By double-clicking on some microtick, notice that my terminal opens. And I can freak out, right? For this to work well with item 2. Notice that right here you can see that I'm working on an internet terminal too. Let's go here to GNS3, to Preference. And here we are going to Consolidate Application. They click on Edit. And here you can select the one you want. And in case you use one that is not listed, you go to Custom and edit the configuration line. In the case of... Let them work with the Internet like I do. This line appears by default, and I did not change anything at all. All I did was select it from here. On the other hand, when working with servers that require a BNC connection, such as Windows servers, if required, an extra step, note that I use real VNC, 
This does not come in the Mac and you have to install it. But it is very simple and there is no cost. They simply go to the real VC page and it is downloaded in the BC viewer. They install it on your Mac. And then, to be able to use it in Genesis 3, they have to do the following. Again, Genesis 3. Preference. And now we go to the CC tab, and here they add it as there isn't one. For the Royal BNC, I use the custom option and place this line. It is required that they have the real VNC installed for this to work. Otherwise, this configuration line will not give more than an error. So with this setup, they double click on the equipment that requires accessibility by VC and they can manage them from him. As you can see, it works perfect. And this way they can work with Genesis 3 on a Mac M1. Exactly the same as how they can do it with Macs with Intel or with Windows or with Ubuntu. It is no longer inconvenient to have a Mac M1. And this would be all. I hope it has helped you that you can take advantage of these videos. And if you liked it, like it. And follow me for more content. Also remember that we have MicroTik courses from Fortinet, Terraform, and many other technologies. All available courses can be accessed in the links you left in the description. Thank you and see you next time.